right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who I learned this truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing this truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to the sincere Akwa, with your sisters coming back being silent as the scripture commanded them to do so. I'm the Akim Ha'amayan, and this morning I just want to, um, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. I just want to dive in about um, the day of the Lord, man, and how two thirds of his own people, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they're not considering, they don't take nothing serious, okay? And with that being said, man, let me dive into the book of Isaiah. Uh, I pop the lesson out with Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 2. It say, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shah, have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Yeah, man. Two thirds have rebelled. Before we came into the truth, we was rebellious. We was wicked. We was doing things that uh, we had no business. We were doing things that were worthy of death. Romans chapter six, verse twenty-three say, um, "For the wages of sin is death." Man, okay. So, the fact that um, we don't live like that no more, and we battle with our flesh, we battle with them demons still, with them thoughts, them wicked thoughts. Okay, we battle with that, and, and, and by cleaving unto the Lord, y'all by Shemaiah shot. Okay. The, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, okay? We believe in the same power. That's the only true entities, okay? Yahweh being the heavenly father, and his only begotten son, Yahweh shot. But two-thirds, they rebel, man. They continue to rebel. They continue to uh, scoff and mock and hate, okay? They they abhor the words of Yahweh by Shemaiah shot. They hate knowledge, man, okay? They despise knowledge. And the times that are at hand, which is Jacob's trouble, and also uh, the day of the Lord, y'all by Shemar Shai, his second coming, y'all gonna regret it, man. Okay, cause you're puffed up right now, like you got this type of um, attitude where you don't care. Okay, and we're just warning you, letting you know what's to come, man. Okay, you don't even know what you're a part of. Okay, verse three: the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider, man. They do not consider. They don't consider that the fact that the Lord, that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave us his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to be the mediator, man. The sacrificial lamb. Because uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, we sinned against him so much. He was through with us in a sense, man. Okay, so he gave us his only begotten son. For us to come back and, and be in good graces with the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. Because you can't go through the Heavenly Father without going through Yahweh Shai. Because he's the sacrifice, man. He's the Lord and Savior. He the one that, he do, he's the one that's going to save us, man. Redeem us. Come back and get us out of this captivity. If we stay diligent, push this truth, continue to be faithful, continue to believe, man. Okay? Two-thirds will not do that, man. They don't care about redemption. They don't care about being redeemed. They care about pleasing the flesh, okay? They care about pleasing hoes. Um, they care about, like I said, pleasing the flesh, man, okay? Lovers of themselves. Um, verse 4, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 4. A sinful nation. Sinful. That's how these people know it's sin, man. How to do wrong. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22, man. They say, um, my people is foolish. Let me grab that real quick to dive in real quick. Bob Kasha. If I may. Ch Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. My people, the Lord said, my people, the Israelites. You so-called blacks, you Negroes, okay? Because you're not that. You're not that. You're brown. You're different shades of brown. Even the Israelite foreigners, man, who look like other nations, okay? This go for you, too, if this resonates with your spirit, man. Okay, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They have not known me. You do not know Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah. You don't know him. Okay? You call him wrong names, man. You call him wrong names. That's that's a that's a that's a disgrace. That's a that's that's man, that's 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 disrespect, man. Okay, Esau Edom got y'all blaspheming the uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, got y'all doing that, man. Okay? 
For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are saddest children, and they have none understanding. Y'all by Shemar Shai knows y'all are stupid. He know y'all stupid, man. And you have no understanding. They are wise to do evil. And the scriptures say what? The wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high. You know how to get somebody to sell drugs and rob and get your homegirl to cheat on her husband. Okay, manipulate this man by doing this and, and things that are evil, man. Okay, even your pastor, you wicked pastor, um, you manipulative. You wise to do evil, man. You would tell people to put money in this church and um, you using it for, for for what you using it for, okay? Because we know that y'all up on a corporation, also known as 501c3 Charter Code, man, non-profit organization, that taxation exemption, okay? And y'all are using the congregation. And it's balanced, too, because... The pastor going off and the flock is going off. They're sincerely trying to find the Lord, but they're sincerely wrong because the route they're taking is the route of death, man. Okay? That's not where the Lord preached the word at. I mean, that's not where the word of the Lord get preached at. So lock you for that. Okay? They are wise to do evil, but to do good to have no knowledge. Okay? When you see brothers with garments on preaching 100% doctrine on the highways and hedges or making these lessons, Okay, you look at them like, they ain't, they, need, they need to cut their hair. They, they ain't got on no suit and tie, no gaiters. Okay, I can't learn from him. That's a nigga. Oh, I, I remember him. He used to do this. He used to do that. Now, nah, they, they be saying women don't fold to do this and do that. They told up we don't fold. That's what the scriptures say. Okay? Cry loud. Spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet, man. Show Israel their transgressions, man. You're going off, man. Okay? So back into Isaiah chapter 1, verse 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, sin on top of sin, on top of sin, on top of sin, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, man. They have forsaken the Lord, y'all by Shemar Shai. They forgot about him. <laughs> but the Lord ain't forgot about y'all, man. Y'all are numbered, man. And um, they have, reading on, they have forsaken the Lord, y'all by Shemar Shai. They have, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are going way backward. Y'all done fell off, man. Okay? Scriptures say, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint, man. Y'all are so gone, man. The Lord got to uh, purify this place by, by fire, man. That's the only way y'all going to be... Uh, that's the only way you're going to get right, man. You got to be put to death. I hate this. Hey, it is what it is. Okay? It, it's sad, but it's true, man, because the fact that we have, we have, um, we have, um, a high power, how about Shemar Shai, okay, that love us so much that he's, he's long-suffering, giving us so many chances and grace, the grace period to come back and seek him before he turn his back, man. And and, 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 and and put this place to desolation, man. Bring this place down, man, by two hundred million missiles and 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 um countless numbers of chariots, man. Okay, but y'all don't wanna hearken, man, until y'all about Shamal shot. Okay. Um this is first Thessalonians chapter five. And I'm gonna start at verse one and it reads, But of the times and of the seasons Ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, man. It's going to, man, it's going to come when you think you, you got it going on, man. I'm telling you, y'all about Shemal Shai is about to show out, man. He's showing out now, but it's going to be on the, on the, on the, on a higher scale, okay? Your worst nightmare is about to come true. Uh, hey, man, the scriptures in the Apocrypha, um, talks about uh apparitions man spirits okay like so-called ghosts that that stuff real spirits are coming back man the, the scriptures say uh there's no new thing upon the sun roughly paraphrasing man if it happened back then okay it's gonna happen now it's gonna happen again okay that's why this time uh man, what book of daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standing for the children of our people. And that shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, man. 
uh, last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That he is that remnant, the one third, the hopeful elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. Okay, the sincere believers that haven't taken their hand out the plow. No matter how many times they fail, man, they got back up through the spirit and the power of y'all by surround shot. Okay. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, man. Okay? That shall be a time like never before since there was a nation. It never been a time like what's coming, man. Okay? It never been a time like what's coming, man. Like uh, the apostle, the, the, the elder apostle Tahar, a great millstone, um, I watched one of the videos and he brought out a video about how Esau Edom, I think is over there in Australia, Salakia if I'm wrong, about how they ran down, they were shooting them rubber bullets. Man, what's coming to this place, they finna be shooting real bullets. Okay? They gonna they go, man, martial law. It's finna get ugly out here, Jake. Jake is for Jacob, man. It's short for the word Jacob, man. Okay, Jacob name was changed to Israel, Yasha Allah, the Hebrew word, princes of power. Okay, for you Israelites, man, for the judgment shall begin at the house of the Most High first, man. You Israelites, man, it's Jacob's trouble. That's punishment for Jacob. For you so-called chasing the bag type niggas, man, and you wicked people. Okay, the Lord hates that, man. He hates wickedness. He's not wicked. He's never been wicked. He's righteous, man. He created evil and good, man, for a reason. Okay, for a reason. He gonna put that out. Because in the kingdom... That's coming. It's gonna be nothing but righteousness, man. Nothing but righteousness. Okay. Back in First Thessalonians, like chapter five, verse two again. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come of us deep in the night. It's gonna catch you, man. Blindly catch you, man. Like a uh, like a football. You know, you put a helmet on, you can't see that side or that side. So you run and you get blindsided. Boom. Or like a car wreck. It's just an example, but it's gonna be way worse than that, man. It's gonna catch you slipping. They gonna catch you slip like 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 a thief kicking your door. You sleep and boom, somebody kicking your door. Or the police kicking your door. That's how man the day of the Lord, man, is to be feared, man. Okay? He is to be feared. Okay? Because in the ancient time they called him Allah Shaja. Terrible demon like power, man. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Y'all about Shemal Shah. He don't play man. I don't know what y'all been learning, man, but According to the scriptures, the Lord is to be feared, man. He's to be feared, okay? Verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to bring things back to what? Normality, man. Bringing it to a sense of, okay, yo, it's all right, safe, man. No, no, no. It's not going to be safe. It's no more peace, man. Okay? This is the new normal, man. Okay? Then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape them birth pains man them great pains okay um like a woman in that ninth month man when she having no contractions that baby about to come and that's how Jacob's trouble and his pain and these plagues are about to be pestilence and death and destruction it's got it's, it's finna hit America man all over but if, excuse me it's like it's finna hit America, man, because America is that country that's going to be uh, brought to des desolation. It's going to be desolate. It's going to be new. It's going to never be here no more. It's going to be a place where beasts dwell, man. Okay? Verse 4. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Okay? It's not going to overtake us as a thief. Why? Because we're preparing. We consider. Okay? The hopeful elect consider, man. We consider. We're taking it serious, man. No matter how hard the battle is, man. We are considering. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. Because it's nothing more important than salvation. Okay? I don't care how good your job pays you. How good your woman treats you. Those things is okay. But at the end of the day. That doesn't bring that spirit to the highest feeling you need, like your how about Shamal Shah, man. Okay? You still have headaches and pains and thoughts, and we ready to get out of here, man. A ball, a ball, man. Y'all about Shamal Shah bring destruction to America with the spiritual Babylon, man. For real. 
um, verse 5, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, man, okay? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us watch and be sober. You go to that word sober, man, man, like serious-minded, man. Circumspect, man, being on point, being exactly accurate, man, being on point, watching, knowing not where to be, not, uh, uh, can't, uh, uh straight. Yeah, because we know anything can pop off, man. Like me right now, um, I truck drive, man, and to be honest, man, it's not safe, man. It's not safe. I don't care about that money, bro. It's not safe, man. It's not safe. I'm in Wixom, Michigan right now. I'm from Georgia, okay? I'm way up here in Michigan. Um, took a couple of days off, but um, it's the fact that, hey, when you got the Spirit of the Lord, man, y'all about to you 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 see things spiritually, and you see what's more important, man, okay? I miss going to camp with brothers. I miss being out there, man. It's lucky for me ranting, but I'm just... I'm just being me. I'm being. I'm being honest. You see what's more important, man. We know. Will you believe in Yah by Shema Shai? Man, he'll make a way, man. That's a demon on you, man. If you feel like you're scared to go broke and you gotta do all this, man, let that go, man. Cause Lord ain't gonna give you riches nor poverty, man. He gonna balance you out, bro. You gonna have your ups and downs, but Yah by Shema Shai is gonna take care of you. Why? He, why he gonna take care of the hopeful? Let cause you believe. You know them names. You believe, man. You have faith. You're pleasing him to the best of your ability. Unlike the two thirds that don't care, that forsake him and his only begotten son, man. Okay. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others. Let us watch and be sober. Okay. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that drunk be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day of the light, man. We are, we are being examples of how to be, okay? Let us be, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, man. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation, because the scriptures, the Lord gave us the comforter, man, which are the scriptures, okay? When your house shy is the volume of the book, man, okay? We understand that, man. You got to, you got to stay strong. You got to stay strong and you got to believe, and also, you got to trust Yahweh by Shemar Shai, no matter what, man, okay? Resist. Submit to Yahweh by Shemar Shai, man. Re resist temptation, man. Try your best, okay? Verse 9, for Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Okay? It say Jesus Christ, but that's not the Lord's name. There's no letter J's in the Hebrew alphabet, okay? And Christ goes into that word, the anointed one. Who's that? Okay. Yahweh Shah. Hamashiach, the Messiah, man. Our Lord and Savior, man. So-called dark-skinned man from um, the tribe of Judah, okay? Who's coming back like a lion, man. It says, uh, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, okay? So, let's know, man, the Lord is coming back like a thief in the night, man, okay? Let me, um, bring out a couple more scriptures. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse, uh, let me start at verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, 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 nor ever shall be. Okay, that great tribulation, man, it's going to be anarchy. Okay, you see uproars of the people as the Apocrypha speaks about second Ezra's. Okay. About this uh this jump shot, the 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 uh Vanessa, okay, getting inoculated. Lord willing, it's out either to um take my um video down for that. But hey, these things are happening 
it's gradually growing, making it's happening fast. Why? Because verse 22 says, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. Okay? Those days are shortened for the elect's sake, man. The chosen ones of Yah by Shabbat Shai, man. Okay? The ones who stand diligent. And that's what it's about, man. It's about staying diligent. Okay, let me, um, Gotta end the lesson off with the Second Chronicles and verse Second Chronicles chapter. 15, and I'm going to start at verse 12. They say, And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord, Yahweh Shemar, shout the power of their fathers without their heart and without their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small, great, whether man or woman. That's the scriptures, man. So guess what? If you don't come back and seek the Lord, Yahweh Shemar, shout ten times more, you got death written on your forehead. You got a death warrant. And the Lord ain't playing, man. Because he's not a man that he should lie. Pursuant to Numbers 23 and 19. Okay? So with that being said, man, Lord willing, y'all was edified. Okay? Lord willing, y'all was edified. Until next time, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racham Kadash. Double arms to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well, labor in 100% doctrine while learning the truth from. Shallow on to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and its sincerity around the four winds of the earth, okay? And shallow on to the censor of Waf, the few sisters coming back, being silent as the scripture commanded them to do so, okay? Abab, Abal, Kwame Asha Allah, Barak, Kal Akim, Shallow on. Get right with Yahweh Shemar Shah for it's too late, man. Shallow on.